Hi Pisces, welcome to your October 2017 love reading. It's Rena here. So as you can see, I've already laid out the cards because I decided to start over and it's easier sometimes if I've just gotten into it to start over than to edit and to, you know, it takes longer to upload under those circumstances. So without further ado, the heart of the matter is the Three of Pentacles. This is the architect's card that can deal with firm or uh, sure foundations, and this could relate to a new relationship that you're working on. Um, the other thing is I did get two threes, so this could be a third party situation. You may be in a marriage or the equivalent, and I was saying in the first reading that you may have met somebody at work who is a co-worker because the three of pentacles can indicate like a teamwork type of environment where you're working with other people on a project and if that's the case it may have come this is the past tense this may have been from a night of partying with your co-workers um, celebration maybe celebrating something that you did on the job and one thing leads to another and you're making out with somebody at work or something like that. Um, the other possibility is just meeting somebody very solid through a group of friends. Okay. But here's the, the current card. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting. The six of swords is about um, moving to uh, peace, moving towards peace from a combative, well, it would be just like an environment of conflict. So this always suggests to me somebody who is in a current relationship that is problematic. And meeting a new person gives you that contrast where you can see where your current relationship is really lacking. If this is also about the type of person it is, it could be somebody who is a swords, which is an air sign. And the usual suspect is going to be a Gemini because it's a mutable sign like you, but the other air signs are Aquarius and um, Libra. And um, so this also can be about relocating. So you may have to move and it may have some other, you may have some other reason why you have to move and you're not going to see this person because maybe you're going to be in a different state if you're living in the United States or a different province or a different country. And you've started something very solid with somebody and now all of a sudden you're going to be separated. So that could be another possible scenario or interpretation of this situation. Just having a sip of kombucha. <laughs> um, so the higher message is the Queen of Swords. And I think this is you. I think that you're stealing yourself. In other words, you're not being a softy. Um, usually you are the kind of person who is very, I was going to say sentimental, that's not what I mean, just very emotional and wanting to make other people happy, even at your own expense. But something is going on that is making you very, have a sense of resolve about a situation. You may have been in a long-term relationship with somebody that you've tried to make it work and it just isn't working and you finally have had enough. And even you have a um, an insult level and a boiling point where it's like, okay, I'm done. And I notice that people that are like that, they tend to uh, stick to their guns. So once they make a decision, they won't go back because they've just been through it too much. Um, let me think of what else this could mean. But it's a really, I think it's a really positive card for 
Pisces because you are a water sign. So to have that swords means that you're um, you're not being cold hearted. You still have compassion, but the swords is kind of like the intellect and it's the logic part of this where it's like you can see the writing on the wall. You can see what's going on and you realize it has, there's no way it's going to work. And again, this would probably be some other relationship. I do feel that something has come in that is promising for you. And when I say it in the past tense, um, what it can mean is that um, it can mean something along the lines of um, something that has already happened, but it may not be that way. The the Sometimes the timing of past, present, future gets blurred. So just look at it in terms of what is um, being what I'm describing and don't don't worry if it hasn't happened yet. If it seems like it's a possible scenario, then it might be going to happen to you on some level. The other thing about that Three of Cups is it can talk about a drinking problem. So this may relate to your current relationship. You may be with somebody who's an alcoholic, which is not unusual for a Pisces person to attract an addictive partner because of the, the Neptunian influence. Um, you tend to um, attract people who need to be healed. So uh, if that's the case, you may have just washed your hands of it finally because there may have been a, a last straw type of situation where you just um, had had enough. What crosses you, the challenge, is the moon card. The moon card is connected to you, believe it or not, and this is about self-deception. So an example is you're feeling like there's a new situation, maybe with a co-worker, maybe it is with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Virgo is your opposite sign. And this this person, you think that it's a solid, it's going to be a solid relationship, but maybe there are things that you don't know. Um, the other thing too is that the moon card, it's about, it can be about self-deception as well as confusion. So really not second guessing yourself um, and believing that you made your decision for a reason to leave and honoring that decision and not believing what somebody tells you because you may hear from this person again uh, if you're living with the person, they may promise to change. And you may have heard this a thousand times before. So are you going to believe this for the thousandth and one-th, one uh, the thousand and first time? Or are you going to move on with your life, like the Six of Swords suggests? That's your choice. And um, it's kind of like going in a in a circle you know the the moon is like this um, round object and you may be going around in circles because you may have like um, torn emotions but I think that it's possible that the Queen of Swords is um, a spiritual message that you need to start putting your own best you know, self-interest first, that you need to become more like this Queen of Swords. Maybe um, maybe you're not there yet, and that's why you got the Moon card in a challenging position. And, uh, and actually, the upright position is challenging. So it can be that you have to develop those qualities of the Queen of Swords more than you, you have right now. Maybe you do still believe what people tell you, and you do have that element of gullibility that can allow you to be lied to and fooled over and over again. Is this because Pisces is stupid? No. It's because you believe the best in others. 
And some people take advantage of that because they know that you are kind-hearted. And you don't have to worry about how other people are going to fare. Um, sometimes you're so concerned about how they're going to take the news that you are willing to sacrifice your own happiness, and that doesn't work. Sometimes people need to see the consequences of their actions. And by protecting them from that, you're not doing them a, um, any favors. You're actually enabling them to continue being how they are. So look at it that way. The advice is the Nine of Pentacles. This is about standing on your, your own two feet financially. You, it may be just saying that you have the ability to. Now, in some cases, Pisces may be um, supporting somebody else. And they are the ones that are uh, dependent. And so, yes, if that's the case for any of you, and that's one of the reasons why you're staying in a situation that is not a happy one and not a healthy one, then you have to figure out how you're going to uh, extricate yourself from this. It's interesting. I did get this card for another sign. I can't remember who, but this is the, I think it was Scorpio. I'm not sure, but this is the outcome card. The seven of swords is a card. It can just mean, you know, going, going it alone, but it can also mean that you have to be uh, clever about how you do that. And this would be particularly, I call it the sleeping with the enemy card, because if you ever saw that movie with um, Julia Roberts, uh, she was married to this psychotic husband who was like totally controlling. It's kind of, a, it's a fun movie. And it's one of those movies where the you, you think the person dies, but they come back, you know. Uh, well, maybe I, that was a spoiler alert, but you know, I, I love those types of movies that are really like psychological, you know, it's probably a little bit, if I saw it again, it'd probably seem a little cheesy, but it's fun. And the thing is, sometimes you may have a partner who's obsessive, a partner who is very, uh, insecure where any kind of um, threat to their their sense of uh, self, like if somebody leaves them, that could like really trigger them. So you may have to kind of break up with them without them knowing that you've broken up with them. You know, like, oh, I'm going to go visit uh, my friend in another area, and then, you know, that's the last time they ever see you. Uh, whatever. But the point is that I got the last two cards I got were both cards that were kind of solitary. So I do think, especially since that Seven of Swords is under the Six of Swords, that a lot of you, in one way or the other, are looking to be in a in a more uh, tranquil setting. And how you go about that will depend on your individual situation. So it's, um, I think it's a good reading because I think that sometimes we have to make these hard decisions, but the end result is something that is worth the temporary turmoil that can, you know, be generated. So I wish you all the best in October, Pisces. If you'd like a personal reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise, have a great month. Bye.